All right, everybody be quiet. Here's how we're starting this one. And then finally, Loose Screws also went live with episode 127, Thick Thargoid Booty. Well, <laughs> I'm not sure that's going to be PG exactly, but... Um, On okay. April 1st, so check them out as well for a very funny show. Exclamation yeah. mark, Loose Screws to check them out. And now... Thick Thargoid Booty. Yeah, eh? Indeed. Okay. That Amazing. was worth it, right? Great job, guys. I don't know where they got that from. Damn it, Teflon. <laughs> this is the 7th of April, uh, 2021. I'm Commander Jan Trax, and this is the Loose Screws Podcast, back again with that thick, thick booty. It said the 7th of April, and I looked down at my computer, and it thinks it's the 8th. And then I looked at my phone, like, no, it's definitely the seventh. <laughs> so All that's right. what you get for for screwing around and overclocking your nonsense. No, check your time I'm zone. You probably even check that type Grover Kiwi's time zone. I'm in New Zealand, guys. <laughs> nobody, nobody has yet told him that he said his RGB wrong. How come I get all this bullshit and he does something actually wrong to his computer and you guys don't give him any shit? He gets plenty of shit. You've you've got you've got him snipped out calling himself stupid. I mean, you, you've sinned against the nature of the things, and he has sin, sinned attempting to gain pride. I fixed it. I synced my time, boys. It's okay. I've saved it. Right. Wait, 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 wait. Did you say gain pride or gay pride? Now I'm thinking is rainbow RGB uh, gay, gay RGB. pride thing like laundry sauce gain? gain. I mean, it could be both. Just checking. Laundry it can sauce. Be both. It can be both. Uh, okay, let's start at the bottom. Joining me tonight is Commander Teflon. How you doing, man? I'm doing okay. Right. How are you? Yeah, you know, it's all right. Nobody ever asks how you are. D- well, they don't. It's whatever. That's my plight, I guess. We'd have to care. <laughs> Next. Uh, I mean, I didn't here. say I cared. I just asked. Hold yeah, on, it's my it's, turn. It's tough. It, oh, God. Which one is it again that is now the turn uh, of NL hate? I, I'm Hi. needless hate, and uh, I'm ready to go. Sounds like somebody's ready to go. <laughs> this is this is what we do. Okay, uh, Commander Dubs also here. Hi, sir. Hello, that's me. Hello, yeah, yeah. Good job on your RGB. Commander Chig is also here. Hi. How are you? I'm going to ask how you are so I can be compassionate <laughs> like our good friend Teflon. <laughs> Teflon's just got a lot of love to give. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, sure he's compassionate. <laughs> Wasn't he just talking about murdering the human race in the game he's playing in? That's because all he wants that's, is alien love. That's a game. You know what I'm not going to tolerate on this podcast is any of this crap about how games inspire real world violence. It's been studied to death, people. It wasn't I, true back then. It's not true now. I yeah, told I was you earlier, before James, games. I'm the devil in disguise. <laughs> well, that's it's causation versus whatever causality. I don't know. I'm making up words, but but like you're saying, <laughs> correlation. The game, the, there well, you go. Execution. Causation versus correlation. Like you know the the games thing. Do games make people violent, or are violent people drawn to violent games? Or, you know, like the myth about if you own a red car, you're more likely to get pulled over by the police. But then again, somebody who drives aggressive might be more likely to own a red car. You know, maybe anyway, but those, so. those are. Well, OK, but it has been, you know, g- games and violence has been studied to death and there isn't a correlation either. So that's just I mean, stuff that I don't need made a- up for the sake of uh, moral panic. Yeah, I don't need a reason to be violent. I can just do that for fun. <laughs> well, at least 80% of statistics are made up 64% of the time. So That's true. That's true. So, um, you guys did a great job last week. That was fun. And uh, <laughs> right off the bat, first thing in the morning, got him. Good old, good old Alec, first on the list on the chopping block. Hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> That's fun. Love you, buddy. Uh, thank you for fulfilling our dreams. Yeah, <laughs> made our week, but <laughs> um, I, I am curious how far into the episode he listened before he made the comment about 
oh, I think you guys uploaded the wrong piece. I think you uploaded the pre-show section of the audio. <laughs> if he was maybe like 10 minutes in or whatever and then kept listening, that would make sense. Because sure, but... somebody else came in and, and commented too that oh, I'm only yeah. I'm only into the pre-show and I've already got 10 show titles or something. It's like, oh, you're just in the <laughs> pre-show. Just keep listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well either way it was fun um and yeah it was uh an episode i actually listened to in post all the Ooh. way through well actually i i listen to the ones that i'm not on but so that that i guess i was citing that as something unusual and it wasn't unusual um oh well that thick thick thargoid booty and we made him say it guys teflon yep. take a bow uh, I would just like to thank everybody for making this possible. Um, you know, uh, pay close attention because I'll slap Chig. Um, I don't really have to do anything anymore. <laughs> it's kind of like, and you know, I, I I fostered it. You know, took care of it, put it out there, and it's it's running on its own legs now. I don't even well, have to do anything. I, I think that people really need to come join the Discord because there's been a whole fan fiction thing going on <laughs> in, in general chat doing this that has been <laughs> pretty damn impressive. So come one stuff. picture too. Those and are hilarious. Yeah, um, we're taking over for the uh, smut time. I think, except it's it's not just humans this time. The Not shape the of ammonia was fantastic. Uh, who made <laughs> that? That was that was perfect. Apoc five, yeah. Yes, Apoc did good. Oh my god, who else has been writing in there? Audacious is that how we pronounce his name? He's been writing some. No, I've read. That's I've read much all easier of way of pronouncing it than the way I was pronouncing it in my head. <laughs> Grover, Grover's been writing in Gro there. Yeah, Grover. Good God. Who else? I'm scrolling up to see who else has been writing in there. It's been, it's been an adventure. Oh, and we forgot to mention yesterday was International Raccoon Meme Day. <laughs> yeah. Is that, that what that was, was all of about? That was Chick's I, I fault. He just woke up in the morning and declared it Raccoon Meme Day, and everything else took care of itself. Yes. I, many, many people participated. I was very, uh, very happy. I'm setting that in my calendar for next year. Yeah. April, April 6th shall henceforth be... Actually, I think Gift Day is what I went. <laughs> and it started out National Raccoon Gift Day, but then Grover Kiwi got heavily involved. So then it went international at that point when it's all the way to New Zealand. So yeah, that, that was all the way around the globe. I was, I was enjoying the hell out of that. I mean, here, here's the story though. In the morning it started, I don't know what happened, but my daughter's been bugging to get a pet raccoon for a while. And I'm like, I'm not getting a fucking cat with hands as a pet. That's just a bad idea. <laughs> so, so she, you know, she's been bugging. And then all of a sudden, I, I, I decided to put that raccoon gift that I decided to make it a holiday. And I went and I woke her up. School was canceled for a snow day up here. So I went to wake her up and I told her, you got to help me make this an actual Hold holiday. Hold and on. She was all excited. Hold on. What? You, uh, you said some words that make sense where I live, but coming, coming from someone that lives where you live, that doesn't make any sense. Will you just say it again so I can make sure I'm not having a stroke? We had a snow day? Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, it was we had we got a few How many inches feet? of snow, but it, no, it was <laughs> they they schedule in uh to the school year so many snow days because they anticipate we're gonna miss school due to snow. Well they didn't right. have any this year. So each of the last two Wednesdays we got a little bit of snow where the roads were a little bit icy, so they declared them snow days because they have to kind of <laughs> have these extra days off right. anyway. It seems so to the, happen the every year when we've got a have... mild winter. Yeah, the teachers didn't have enough curriculum and they had too many day school days. And it was like, well, the bar yeah. just got really low. <laughs> it's like the spring. Oh, it's cold today. Let's uh, call it a, a snow day. So the spring yeah. up in the section of the country where we live, uh, like the snow melts and then comes back and then melts and then comes back and then melts and then comes back. It'll, it'll leave it'll until like November. <laughs> Yeah, April can be weird uh, for us too. Like we can have April where we won't get a speck of snow and 
average temperature will be like 50 degrees, you know. But then we have other months, like, I don't know, I think it was like 2014. We got 56 inches of snow just in the month of April. So it's, it's really just hit or miss. Golly. Yeah, fun. Hey, uh, while you're up there, Chig, why don't you just swing into a, what's been up this past week? Uh, well, uh, uh, there was a raccoon holiday yesterday that <laughs> coincided with a snow day. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been reading lots of Thargoid thick booty porn all week. Um, so pretty much I'm just recapping exactly. I don't know what we we killed bugs on your stream a couple times. And that's in game. I haven't left Parthene system where the Thargoid incursion is. I have made it a ritual in the morning. I either kill a Medusa or a Basilisk with my morning coffee before I go to work. And then I'll come home for lunch and I'll kill either a Medusa or a Basilisk. So I'm just stockpiling credits, you know, massively mm -hmm. for no reason whatsoever. I've got nothing to spend them on, but I got them. Your, uh, your boy wants a fleet carrier. I am not. <laughs> I, I'll gladly help fund somebody's first carrier i'm not okay. funding somebody's okay. second carrier <laughs> okay <laughs> hey we brought you out with us on tuesday uh to make the money with us so just come along you you can this is where the money is man yeah you come around with us and occasionally shoot a laser at one of the things we're blowing up and you'll get paid lots yeah i'm, I'm hanging for two hours a, you got a quarter billion come on I, i'm gonna need a, a a different ship we can build you a ship we can do that Maybe maybe I'll buy a phantom. A phantom or a, a, a whatchamacallit, a chieftain? Oh, you have a mamba or with, that's still... A Mark II. Mark II, a mamba thing. works great because it's so fast. Yeah. yeah. The, Hell, the speedier the, the better, especially. Yeah, I mean, well, that, that might be a little thin. Well, the I, he can just... All he has to do is tag stuff. Yeah, but he's going to he's gonna end up, as fast as you are, you're going to end up taking some fire from scouts and stuff out in those conflict zones. <laughs> well, <laughs> Just kidding. I don't know, man. I don't know. I think you want a little bit, of, you want some durability to do conflict zones. Yeah, like a type 10. D Dio can don't tell you that. how good nope. that is. <laughs> <laughs> Several deaths. <laughs> So yeah, spe does. speed and I don't know, at least a couple thousand armor, and you should be able to survive anything. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't be the aggressor in most of those situations, and you'll be fine. Or just pure um, speed. What about you, Dubs? You're um you're kind of out out in the out in the black, right? I'm in the middle of nowhere, participating in Roy's uh, expedition down in the far, far, far south of the galaxy. Good friend of the show, Roy Cookson. I don't think we've talked about the expedition on the show, have we? Uh, I'm not sure if we have, but uh, now's the perfect time to do it. So uh, No, because we, we, the only episode we've had since then has been the April Fool's episode. Ah, that's right. true. <laughs> All right, well, we're doing a little expedition hosted by Roy Cookson and his fleet carrier. Uh, under the events channel, there is a thread that you are free to join. Find the fleet carrier. Come join us. I'm there's, no, there's no real goal. There's no direction. Like the fleet carrier jumps oh. every once in a while. And you just kind of bug off and do what you want to do for a week or so. And then meet back up. Sweet. Yeah, super simple. Have fun. Did you discover another ringed earth like yet? Uh no, but I did pick up two regular earth likes. So there's Earth like that. earth likes. Earth like world like worlds, as world -like some would world. have called back in the day. <laughs> but I <laughs> you will be that, the yeah. very first person to know, Chig, when I find another ringed earth like. The thing is, I'm not gonna squeeze the trigger when I find that one two two on the scanner. I will Make an audio call on Discord to you, and I will wait. <laughs> and you will watch. <laughs> I hate oh, you. For you to get off work. You, yeah. you could be in the middle of selling a car to someone, and I'll be like, chick, 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 open your phone. Look at this. <laughs> Do you hear that sound? Do you hear that beautiful sound? Yeah. I hate, I hate everything about you. <laughs> hey, you know, you could come join us. 
and no. look for yourself. There's plenty of undiscovered systems. No, uh, I'll pass. That's good. I, I like I said, I've had my fill of exploration. I I don't need. I mean, if they actually add some new stuff to the galaxy, I'll I'll get my ass out there and I'll come I'll come look. But right now, I can only see even discovering a ringed Earth like world. I've seen ringed Earth like worlds. So I've got plenty of screenshots on my computer from seeing a ringed Earth like world. So I, I I don't know. I'm I'm explored out in this game for now. Hmm. Well, you can always come down here, and I will fist fight you on the ground or on a floating anaconda. Now, give me something to kill out there. Wait, you're out there. I am. Huh. Bring it. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> this diamond backpack's a little bit of heat. Uh, I'll Not bring my carrier too. with my whole fleet. And I'll, find, <laughs> I'll find a Not ship fair. to carry no, eventually. No. You have to jump down here in an exploration ship. If it doesn't jump. A minimum of 60 light years. It doesn't count. Uh, my carrier jumps. Is your Diamondbacks well jump 60. pack 60 light years? It packs 65, I believe. Oh. Let me open her up in Coriolis. I got a 64 unladen, 63 laden. Wow. And that's fully armed, fully everything. I'm leaving so, yeah. Parthini. I'm going to go hit the material traders and hit some engineers. <laughs> Just, I, I thought I'd mention that because I said I hadn't left the system in a while. Completely random. Sure. Yeah, that was me um, last night. We decided to hit the material traders. We we did a stream on Tuesday, made some of that good, good Thargoid money, brought some friends along. Data was there. Hate came out trying to make that money. You just got to get there with us, buddy. You can make lots. And um, I was about full on materials too. So I hopped out to the material traders. You, you do enough of these missions out here for Thargoids. You f there's um, Quizit Focus Crystals, uh, Modified Embedded Firmware, and sometimes Biotech Conductors, although that fills up more slowly. But those are the main two that, that fill up just constantly. You got to keep trading them down. Yeah. Um, and on my way out there, of course, I'm we're in the... The Thargoids are attacking in the bubble now, so I'm not that far out. So I just went to the material trader in my Thargoid ship, because why not? And <laughs> sure enough, some some dumb Thargoid decides to interdict me. Hyperdict me, I should say. What so, an idiot. That was fun. What an idiot. I was like, this is not this is not the exploration ship you were hoping for, you dingus. It was just the Cyclops, but hey, question for heart, heart is down in one blast. I just thought of this because we were talking about him getting a second carrier. If they allow uh, the this, uh, transfer from console to PC, are you going to bring your other your I've, console? I've computer? already done everything. So now, it, and that, that other carrier still has several years worth of upkeep ready. Okay, so you're just going to leave it on the console? I'm just going to leave it over there. Okay, but I mean, doesn't that uh, commander have all the engineers and everything unlocked? I have all the engineers under unlocked. Well, yeah, but you could have two PC commanders yeah. with everything unlocked, so you could be exploring with one and, and mm. fighting Thargoids with the other. I'm going to have to sign in and out of the launcher, or I could just turn my Xbox on. Yeah, but then you have to play on a console and yeah, not so much it updates anyway. that yeah it's horrible <laughs> I was just curious back to tracks what were you doing other than oh, killing Thargoids what? On oh no that was it well so I I popped off to the material traders um, after work and um, sorry I'm waving to subsonic slug here he's drifting around the outside of the mega ship doing little wing waves <laughs> He hasn't Good hunting, been out buddy. Good hunting. hunting. Well, he used to now. come out bug hunting with us all the time. Now he doesn't. Yeah. I think, what'd you do to piss him off? Uh, well, I just waved to him. I don't know. He seems perfectly happy right now. Oh. He's waving right back. Oh, so it must Anywho. be. Damn it. Yeah, yeah so, um, so I did that. I uh, killed a Cyclops on the way because he was stupid and hyperdicted me. And, um, and then later in the evening, my. Wife decided she wanted to watch Bridgerton, and I decided I did not want to watch that or know what it is. So I came down and played a little more. Nobody seems to be on, so 
went out to the zone and ran into a few of the uh, randos we've been seeing out there and smoked a bunch more interceptors and then went to bed before the Hydra because, because, you know. Yeah. That so feels anyway. like work. The time yeah, did, investment for Hydras isn't worth it. Right. Did some actual game, a little bit of game time, not on a stream, Ooh. which is, uh, eh, it was dull. I'm going to be honest. I like streaming. <laughs> you just want us around. And speaking I, of streaming, it's, it's I'm fun up to, to, to play 30, with friends. I'm up to like 35,000 points on your stream, by the way. I'm coming for it. Coming for what? I don't know yet, but I'm going to get the points. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? It doesn't um, have to make sense. Yeah, just anyway. know I'm doing it. Yeah. Um, other than that, yeah, I've just been really, really busy. I've had a, a lot of big projects with work and, and got a little bit behind on a couple of them. And so it's been go, 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 go. So that's that's been it, just Tuesday. And then a little bit last night, I finally got caught up and was like, well, shoot, I can turn on the computer for a second and not feel guilty. <laughs> so um, anyway, hey, what you been up to, man? Besides uh, fighting with us on Tuesday. Well, I... I- I'm on day shift this week because I'm doing onboarding. You know, I'm joining a Fortune 500 company and getting a, a $2 raise since I've been working with them for six months already. Uh, nice. I had something else going on. I guess it's not that... Oh, I ordered tires for my car and get some new tires on the car. Oh, cars need those. Yeah. Uh, the wear I mean, bars do they? Are, the wear bars are uh, exposed on all four of my tires. Uh, mm. Luckily, the, the wear has been even, so I hadn't noticed, except I'm kind of uh, compulsive about tire care. Uh, well, apparently you're not. Well, they've been appropriately you get inflated. Down. You know, the, the, the car is in alignment, so okay. they've lived All their right. entire life in a, in a healthy way. Until now, it's true. This, you didn't this, you didn't like chop the corners or anything. Right. I suppose. Yeah. I suppose that's yeah. I understand what you mean. And by the way, Dubs, yes. Uh, yes, cars do need tires. Look, uh, I managed to go about a quarter of a mile with only three of them, so... I told that story today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they also appreciate when you have, like, like tread patterns and similar tread depth. Sure, makes sense. Uh, you know, so keep that in mind, Dubs. I, know, I drove around for like two months with one 35 inch tire and three 33 inches because I just did not feel like getting the one that I ran a nail over with patched. But <laughs> it's I, I I got off my ass and fixed it one day. There you go. It it happens. Um, fun. So Teflon, what you've been doing since the um. Since the success of the Thargoid romance story began, uh, I've just been super busy here lately um, with uh, housework stuff and uh, getting ready for my daughter to have her concert tonight and then have uh, her party on Saturday after cheer, her first girls' party where she's having friends over. So that's mainly it real life stuff yeah i haven't had time to really do much of anything i mean i'm on roy's expedition and i've been posting like screenshots on twitter under the hashtag expedition roy uh just because there was nothing there was that wasn't a hashtag before so uh, <laughs> saying that roy's expedition was a hashtag that was taken anyway, no well i didn't try roy's expedition i just put expedition roy and i was like yeah nobody has this Ah, uh, and so, okay. uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I haven't even had time to go out and do any screenshots or anything like that. Bummer. Just because, just because I just been so busy. Being that and super dad playing Stellaris. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did try. I was going to speaking of other games. Um, I I don't know if you guys, anybody's ever gotten into these um, like ray tracing demos of things. Anybody who has ray tracing capable cards, but um, 
Somebody like last week or something, I think I saw this came across my Google feed, but but uh, somebody made a Doom mod that has full light path tracing to it. And it's like, it's like a little 400 megabyte executable. You provide your own Doom WAD file, uh, if you remember those from back in the day. But yeah, it's just Doom because you're just feeding it the, the WAD file from Doom. But it has like light path tracing and stuff. It's it's pretty wild, uh, actually, with all the two D sprites and. But then it has all this like, uh, just the way the 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 lighting is very 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 realistic and and uh, it will you crank the resolution up. I could run it at fourteen forty p and it wouldn't it wouldn't maintain a hundred fps <laughs> at that. Speed, so yeah, you can you can put a lot and and not even have a, very much geometry on the screen when you're fully tracing the light paths. But and there was that other one of of Quake Two. Um, gosh, that's a probably a couple of years old now, right? Anyway, yeah. they're sort of fun. Yeah. Um, but they're yeah, it, it it's fun how much that just adding ray traced like path traced lighting will uplift the graphics of something changing nothing else you know it just uh it really does change kind of everything about it but anyway. magic doom yeah 2d sprites causing shadows it was it was pr- pretty weird <laughs> <laughs> wow okay i'll have to try that uh, well there's um there's actual there, well there's a little bit of stuff to talk about um, if you guys are up for that stuff to do with uh, this game and and the squadron and things like that, what, what, do, you, what, what, do, you, what do you what do you think? No, no, no. This uh, elite. Oh, I Back thought we were the... starting a Doom Squadron. Okay. Is, I got. I got is confused. Doom multiplayer? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> someone's worked on a mod for it. <laughs> okay, um, so let's talk about what's up with the faction. What do you say? Hate? Yes. Okay. Wonderful. Incoming priority message. Squadron briefing. All right, now that the the licensed music that was going on in the background just ended, uh, man, we have. I'm going to quote a rapper. Uh, we are suffering from our success as we have been for many months. Uh, it's starting to feel like invading Kama again. But if we're accidentally invading a lot of, you know, a lot of places on accident. Uh, we have six or five, five systems at risk of expanding that we need our influence reduced in. Uh, those are six Andromeda, Ross 310, Mayakoro, Seven Andro and Kama all need us reduced. Those systems need the loose screws reduced. So, like, maybe even. Does 55. everybody understand that? Reduce them. Reduce? I don't think yes. I've ever heard that word before. Work I only you know. Systems, loose screws. Please run missions for factions that are not us. So, drop a deuce on our systems. So yes. what go you're ahead telling and just bring me... as much bio waste as you can and then drop <laughs> it into the airlock of every station you can find. Okay. Will that work? Officially? No, but it's sure it's fun to think about. <laughs> <laughs> I may give it a try. All right. So th- that's basically the, the gist of it, huh? Just uh, let's cool it. Let's yep. cool it, guys. Yep. Well, in specific systems, go to the standing orders and find out exactly which yeah. ones. Right on. All right, it's time for it's it's that time of the week. It's time for blame the bard. Here we go. Fuck the bard. We have things we need to do. It's original. Do things fresh. Okay, that's fine. I I know we can't run with the same joke two weeks in a row. But I was Timothy. Is he okay? He's fine. I gave him a week off. Okay, great. I really think we need to change up the format. Look, man, I don't give a fuck what you think. I'll call you back, all right? Welcome aboard the Tahatimi Express. Let's jump on into the recap. March 31st was a busy day. Reort Mining learned the meaning of silence for the Alliance. And Taurus Mining asks for magical rocks to study for science, not drugs. 
April 1st, Hudson hit his head and he suspended the vote for the amendment change. And on April 5th, the Marlinists consider Arissa's request to join or not to join. That is the ballot. Timothy has the week off. No CG prediction. That's all for me this week. Thank you for tuning your tin hat to this frequency. Have fun out there. <laughs> okay. Um, I was just typing to these guys. Um, I think he really put in some extra effort this time because I he he recorded that with the bot in the Discord channel, which means I think he had to have created a recording and then played it back for himself to be talking over like it's on the phone and recorded that. And that's that's like... This is like, uh, you know, going back to old-fashioned special effects, you know, getting it in camera, as they say. Dude, that's, you're ruining the movie magic. Stuff. What are you doing? No, no. Immersion. It, it, does, it doesn't ruin anything. <laughs> to, to, to figure out how people did really great special effects ruins nothing. It only makes it better. And anyway, great job. Thank you, Jay Barron. Um, it's fun. Okay. <sighs> so I always enjoyed Jay Barron stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I, I call him I, B. What's up, B? What's up, B? Thanks, B. <laughs> I like Good that. Good job, B. <laughs> uh, so I have a, a little bit that, or what did he say? That was all me, including changing my voice. Well, I could tell it was him, but yeah, a voice recording. Okay, so he recorded himself into his phone and then rehearsed the timing and played it back and talked over it. Yeah, fantastic. See what I mean? I mean, that's just. How do you do that? You know, I would I would make something and edit it together and all this other crap. No, no, no. That's not how you do it. That's not how you make it sound like a phone call. You record it on your phone. This is the guy right here. Anyway. You need to hire him. I Well, didn't we? Pay him exactly nothing. Like I'll pay him exactly as much as the rest of us make. Big fat zero. Big fat nothing. Oh, Hold on. Hold on. One of us has an actual company that is actually getting at least mentioned in some episodes wait who's that you guys aren't getting paid are you getting, getting paid yeah who's i get paying? paid to be here you know in, in thargoid porn <laughs> if I was podcast, <laughs> man, I'll, I'll probably hire an audio engineer i'll definitely reference them if i was gonna hire an audio Thick engineer it's thargoid probably... booty <laughs> love it at this just point, I'd hire. Conversation now. I think I'd hire B before I'd hire Tracks to do my audio stuff now. Since clearly it comes he out better. How good he is at it. He doesn't even okay. need equipment. That was a terrible sentence structure. I, I apologize. <laughs> his gaming PC, his cell phone. Yeah, but, he probably uses most of his day at work. He probably wouldn't be as expensive as Tracks would. Not nearly as expensive as I'm, I'm ridiculous, you guys. You charge us too much, that's for sure. <laughs> um, okay, so on the topic of in-game news, uh, actually a couple more things that I was going to mention. Of interest, uh, somebody found a barnacle, a Thargoid barnacle, at an Alliance ground base in the California Nebula. Hold on. Hold on. Not Hold at. on. In. In. Yeah, it's in the warehouse. you got to, like, camera clip to get to it. Yeah. Yeah. That would still be at, technically, wouldn't it? I yes. Mean, well, that's why I thought it was fair. Yes, but... Both. <laughs> so uh, the system is California Sector BA-AE6, Planet 4, at Mick Turner Base. Um, there's no other... Uh, there's only uh, one faction per system out there. I think Wait. that's true. Were they having sex with it? Were they uh, not? I don't know. I don't know. But they, it's an alliance system. It's an alliance faction. They have a barnacle in their warehouse. And it's, we it's working. Question. Like, it's growing meta-alloys. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. It's real. Heard about that on uh, Galnet News Digest. You can find their video on the YouTube channel. Um, I didn't put a link to it in the show notes, because if you can't find Galnet Nudes Digest, you don't deserve to see a barnacle at an Alliance base. Figure it out. It's easy. I think we um, should go on a field trip out there. I want to see this do it. in person. There's this, the name of the system and the planet and the base and everything is right there. And right it's there. California Nebula. It's in the show notes, you, you twerp. We have show notes? <sighs> what are those? Okay, so next up, <laughs> the Consortium 
uh, is a criminal faction in the game. And during update 11, when a few codex entries were updated and added, an added an, an entry in the codex for the consortium was added, which is notable because there's a lot of fairly major factions in the game that don't have codex entries. And this one appeared out of nowhere and immediately got a codex entry. Um, the system that the faction was placed in is like 4,400 light years north of the bubble. The system has 20 planetary settlements and an asteroid base, and they're all owned by a different faction, Interstellar Mining Corps. And there is no surrounding systems like within range uh, that they would even be able to move to if they did it. Anyway, it just seems very strange. Um, and this one I heard about on the Burr Pit because that's how you hear about things. And so anyway, thought those were interesting. Added them to show notes. What do you guys think? I, th- I saw that consortium thing because I think Bard popped it into our Discord. That was the first time Did I he? saw it. He's like, look what's new in the Codex. But, you know, I don't know where he saw it or if he, you know, discovered it or if he was watching the Burr Pit. I Bard, don't know. Bard was checking the Codex because he was looking for something else and saw the new entry. Mm-hmm. Ah. But I had not heard that the consortium ended up with their own system in the middle of BFE. Well, they do not have their own system. They are in a system where they own nothing. Well, all let's go the push them up. All the settlements in and the base in that system are owned by the other faction, which is Interstellar Mining Corps. The system is NGC 6188 Sector LC V C2 28. Yeah, and that's in the show notes because that's of course stuff yeah, that, because that's garbage and you can't. All right, it. Um, field trip, another field trip. So yeah, I mean it's there. Somebody could work for them and and take take over a system for them. Um, or perhaps right. they're that, they're in there for the sake of some kind of future plot or something like that. Who knows? Maybe if we make them expand, force an expansion when there's nothing else around, they'll reveal something. Let's do it. Okay, you got your work cut out for you. There's a lot of settlements there. <laughs> Are there Thargoids up there? I don't even know what... Uh, it's it's no, north of the bubble. Why yeah. would there be Thargoids up there? I don't know. But I don't want to go there if I can't kill Thargoids. Well, that's why I'm not there right now. I'm just drifting around this megaship waiting till this podcast is over. <laughs> no, to go do something fun <laughs> rather than this. <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait till it's over. That's, that's what you sound like. <laughs> I'm definitely ready for it to be over. Okay, well, let's just push through then. What do you say? <laughs> guys? End it all. I'm ready for it all. Um, to be over. Little, little bit of dev news. Uh, Frame Shift Live 4 happened today, the Thursday stream. Uh, on it, obviously, they have taken up shouting out some podcasts that uh, released episodes, and apparently they decided to read those episodes' titles. Uh, right in time for us to name an episode. Uh, let's see, what was it? Thick Thargoid Booty. Of course, providing That's me right. with lots of glorious um, audio clips now that I'll keep and cherish forever. Thanks, everyone. Once it's on the internet, it's there We forever. made it. <laughs> we made it. Congratulations, everyone. Pat yourselves on the back. Um, anyway, that was fun. Also on the stream... Uh, they did well, they did all the usual things. Arf definitely did confirm that update 12 will be coming. Um, he made play like he wasn't supposed to confirm that, but you know, whatever, that doesn't matter a whole lot. They, uh, he he said that update 12 is coming. I didn't really have a whole lot of doubt about that, did you guys? That didn't really seem like news because we got update 11. I assumed that the next one to come out would be 12. And I I have it on good. I've been told it's been leaked that 13 might come after that. (laughs) Maybe a 14. They're they're starting to, you know, the, the commitment to start to add, you know, additional content and move the game forward requires updates. So what? I think I think people were sort of asking with the idea that like, well, wait, is it done now? Are you calling this fixed? But like, even the content they put in has to have updates, so it was sort of yeah, it was kind of silly exactly. from the beginning. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I 
Yeah. Oh my God! It's uh, they named their next update to the game. Unless you know everybody was right and the game is now in maintenance mode and and you know everything you know sky is yeah. falling, game's over. But if you're not, but they in that specifically camp, said that wasn't happening. Exactly. Exactly. It's Until not a mystery. They, Till they sell the game to Sega Genesis so they can run it on old consoles. <laughs> Fantastic. Definitely happening. My uncle works for Nintendo. He told me. Yeah. So that's that's confirmed then. EDO is coming to Sega Genesis? No, no. Uh, Turbo Graphics. Turbo Graphics 16. Old. You got it. Yes. And it's going to be a pinball EDO emulator. is coming to... Turbo Graphics. That was spelled with an X, right? I think it was yeah. G R A F X. G R A. Like, it's got to be three F-X. X. Yeah, that's right. G R A F X sixteen. Yeah, nice. Okay, I'll check the spelling uh, on that before I publish. That product right. is older than me. Yep. That's a and great I mean, product. You are a, you are a youngin, but it's an old product. Dude, Turbo Graphics, the greatest pinball game, a video game, like, you know, non actual pinball game, but like mm-hmm. video game pinball game, uh, Devil's Crush on Turbo Graphics. You get a chance to play that. It's so much fun. I'm telling you. Nice. I'm going random old school. I, nobody else on the planet probably remembers it because Turbo Graphics wasn't exactly a huge seller, but it had two really no. badass games that, Devil's Crush, and then Military Madness, which was, uh, turn-based uh uh combat like game yeah it was well, it, what well, isn't an rts Recursive. turn-based oh right that would specifically be the opposite of what i exactly. said <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like a real-time strategy game only the opposite oh, yes. it's not real time but it's a strategy game so yes okay great super super yeah it's strategy and a game just yeah the opposite <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm sure um, you can find emulators of both of those somewhere online. Oh, sure. Yeah. I, I didn't have a Turbo Graphics either. It was it was a little bit. Um, I mean, what, when I was a kid, we had kind of like all the Nintendos for a while. Um, that was about it. I, I we own, didn't have a ton I of have stuff. All of I've I've always had this dream of having you know a big TV you know on the wall and then all of the vintage systems all on their own shelf all around the TV mm-hmm. and i have i could do that now that i've got my my little game room thing and i've actually got a 65 inch tv hanging on the wall there i, I feel could like take those out old, of storage i've got them all in the basement with the old system you would want the tv that they came with though i mean like well yeah the, the real the old feel ones, you yeah, got to they look better yeah. on CRT. In fact, CR, the, some specific CRTs are like going way up in value over the past year or so. Well, like they're the Duck Hunt, it would have, eBay you have to have a CRT. You do, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. But hanging one of those on the wall would be weird. It would take a lot of yeah, duct tape. I, I don't, I mean, I, I, lo- I like retro games now and then. Um, in fact, I, I ordered myself this this toy, which I wasn't going to talk about till it arrived, but it'll probably be a while because they um, they take a long time to ship them out. They're just they can't keep them in stock. But this thing called the Retroid uh, Pocket Two Plus, it's a little handheld Android device that's uh, it was only a hundred dollars, and um, the new version of it has like a touch screen and a few other things. But it's basically like a, a like a Steam Deck format thing, like one of these handhelds that looks like that, like a Nintendo Switch or something. Um, but it's just Android uh, with a bunch of emulators on it and plays all that old stuff fantastically, kind of up through like uh, some GameCube games. Um, nice. But, you know, it's a little like a little like three and a half inch screen. Um, yeah, I, I'm not I'm not going to get precious about like, oh, it doesn't look right unless you have like the scan lines and stuff from the blah, blah, blah. Like I, I'm fine looking at it with like a clean pixeled screen. But oh, um, I just thought of a great idea. I yeah. can take. I could get a big old CRT and the wall that I've got the flat screen on, take the flat screen down and just cut a hole in the wall that goes into my <laughs> daughter's bedroom and have the back of that TV just into her room. That would work, right? And Yeah, would you like have a, to ventilate it? Yeah, that's like a free heater for yeah. her bedroom. Yeah, heat her bedroom and, and there that's we go. True. You, you do live up in the, in the, the north. She's real skinny. 
So I mentioned she's cold often. Yeah, she's a yeah, she's a whiner. That's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> that's my new plan. But now, no handheld. You're talking. It, that was playing NES games or. Well, it's it's an Android device with um, a, a custom launcher, custom front end that has uh, emulators for anything like Turbo Graphics, like NES, Ataris, mm-hmm. Super NES, all the way up through um, your PlayStation's, PlayStation Twos. It can run some GameCube games. Okay. That's where it starts to run out of power. Okay, I bought one of those little ones out of China that has like all six hundred and fifty five. NES games on it has like the right. It's like NES a dedicated library. preloaded yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. I, that's pretty badass. So it can play a lot mm. of the old games that you can't like. Do you ever play Solomon's Key? That's like one of my favorite NES. I've games. seen that play. Oh, yeah. it's so much fun. It's kind of a puzzle yeah. game, but it, I I was super excited when I saw that on the list of games, and I literally bought the little handheld thing <laughs> just because that was on there. But then I ended up playing every yeah. everything that was on there. So yeah, yeah. Dr. Yeah, Mario. The, fun. The Retroid Pocket's a little a little more um flexible and um than that, but but you know, it has it has touch and Wi-Fi and they, they do over the air updates and stuff for it. They're advancing the OS on it all the time and patching things and yeah, bring your own ROMs. Um, of Amazon? course, but no, no, no. I don't think so. Well, probably maybe some used ones, but there's also been different versions. So the Pocket Retroid 2 Plus Pocket is the one. Yeah. Pocket, yeah, if you go to their own site, the Pocket 2 Plus is the one you want because that that's sort of the iteration where they fixed a bunch of the problems with kind of the buttons and um, added touch to the screen. But they also created drop-in kits for people who had ordered previous versions. So you can get this like... I think it's like 60 bucks and it basically replaces the board and the screen within your existing device without you having to buy a whole new one. So you get all the upgrades. Um, so just really the kind of company that I want to support, right? Because they're keep maintaining their product over the air updates. They're, they're selling it as a kit. If you want, um, you can assemble it yourself and, yeah, um, I may yeah, just buy all, one of these. So they take a while to ship, um, People on Reddit are sort of tracking it, um, but the average is about 60 days from when you order to when it will, will ship to you. So I'm still waiting, but anyway. Oh, you haven't got yours yet? Yeah. No, I ordered um, 14th of April, and currently the average being tracked on the Google sheet on Reddit is like 60 days. Some people get them sooner. It also depends what color you order. I think they kind of... You haven't they, ordered they, No, no, I ordered it on April 14th. It's the seventh, bud. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, not this month. Shoot. What was the other month? What's the month that comes before this month? March it was up, that one. Update okay. 10. <laughs> update 10. I ordered it on update 10, 14th. Okay. The Got 14th it. of update 10. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I get the impression that they kind of, um, they may be uh, manufacturer to order or they do them in batches and then it's like once enough of, a particular that I, I they probably ship in batches. Which color did you like order? I want, I think I make I order ordered the black. Um there's there's a bunch new. of different colors. That that looks like a modern device. I want it I want it. <laughs> yeah, they cool. have uh, colors that look like Super NES, they have some that look like NES or like even um Super Famicoms and then there's some other like kind of color schemes based on like oranges and things like Indigo that. Indigo and orange. Yeah, I'm on the yeah, website right yeah. now. Uh, I think I've, oh, it's a cool little thing. Watch some YouTube videos on it to make sure you want to deal with all the Android BS of, of running yeah. emulators. But if yeah, you don't mind tinkering with computer crap, which I'm sure you do, don't, um, it, it works great. Right on the website, it says deliveries start after 35 calendar days. Yeah. And, so. and that's not, they're not maintaining that average. <laughs> well, after means anything. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, exactly. No telling, no telling. Um, cool. Well, um, okay, I was going to say one more thing about this elite thing, um, and that is just a reminder, please go vote up the GPU utilization issue. Trying to spread this around. People keep asking me, do you mind if I share this places? Like, for God's sake, share it, please. <laughs> um, I was talking about it in the stream chat some today, and a, f- a few people were kind of following me up on it. Um, I know that the burrs got wise to it at some point and I know some people have been sharing it in other discords as well um, 
appreciate all of the push anybody can do. Um, as of at some point today, it was like number 20 on the issue tracker. And I mentioned it on the stream and it immediately jumped to number 18. But then by the end of the stream, I checked again and it was 19. <laughs> So um, that seems like maybe it's a little volatile, but there's a link in the show notes to take you directly to it. And if you haven't voted yet, please, please, please. Um, I don't what know if they'll ever for? look at. I don't know if they'll ever look at the issue tracker thing on the stream again. But even if they don't, it you know issues do keep getting marked as their status changing. So I don't know. Somebody's paying attention to it, and I. Anyway, it's the only thing we have. Um, and I'm not going to be baited into talking about the whole thing all again. <laughs> oh, but sorry. <laughs> but why? Why? Um, I, I've got nothing else kind of for the show. I was going to talk a little bit about um, PC building for folks who might still be angling in that direction. Um, console commanders as they wait for news. Still no news, by the way, about transfers, obviously. But... Um, I guess I'll roll into that. So um, just for kicks, as, if, as we continue to pay attention to PC building, it does seem like some prices have started to ease a little bit. And uh, on top of that, some new CPUs came out. Um, the mid-range of uh, CPUs are starting to fill out. And that has because of that, the latest video... Uh, from Paul's Hardware on YouTube about kind of uh, low cost but really nice gaming builds. This doesn't mean like this is the minimum spend you make to get a, a computer that can play games, but this is like actually a, a really nice computer that can play pretty well any game um, for in the range of like nine hundred to nine hundred fifty dollars right now. Um, actual prices, not MSRPs or any of that stuff. Like he actually charts it out and and offers basically options for everything. So it's a really good video video series actually because uh, it's a good channel to follow. But thought it was worth mentioning. There's a link right to it. And if if you're in the market for things, um, these give you the suggestions and he explains why for everything and why you might choose one option over another for any particular part. There's like at least three or four options for every single part on there. Um, Really great way to do it. So anyway, I thought I'd share if there's people still paying attention to that because it's a fantastic resource. That's friggin' it, guys. I can just play the thick Thargoid booty thing a few more times. Is there anything else you guys want to talk about? Um, oh, please do. If you're having trouble sourcing a graphics card, even though Amazon and Newegg and Best Buy are getting them regularly, I do recommend the Brobot Discord. If you get to our Discord, I can give you a link for it. All right, in our Discord, you can find conveniently located at discord.io slash loose screws. Thick Thargoid booty. He says it's so dramatic. That's right? never going to get old. <laughs> I'd I, never I get old. I love it. I love it. I clipped that so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even think about it. It's just, it just happened. I was like, I'm going to need a long and a short version of this. <laughs> nice. Nice. And it's ours forever. Yeah. I mean, like randomly, there's like no good movie anniversaries this week at all. It's like this week in history sucked for movies. Um, cheeses, I think I've talked about every cheese on the planet, so I don't really have anything to say wow. about that. I could go like smoked gouda, which is good, but when I, when I go smoked cheeses, Smoked flavor to me is no matter what it's on, that's all I'm going to taste is the smoked flavor. I love smoked things, <laughs> but like yeah. so, like when I say smoked good, I'm really saying just smoked cheese. Smoke you know, anything, if, yeah. If, if you if you like, you know, different textures, go with a different kind of cheese. But smoked good is like one of the most popular ones. Or you can get a smoked string cheese. Guess what it's going to taste what? like? It's going to taste like gouda. But smoked, smoked string gouda. cheese. Yeah, have you ever had I smoked string cheese? That. No, yeah. but I yeah, want you to. Get, yeah, you can get if you like smoked things, you can get instead of just regular string cheese, you can get a smoked version of it. It's really yeah, good. Oh you sure can. I've seen it in the store several times. I, pretty much any time I go in a gas station, I walk out with a few of those. You know, I need a snack. The the local the grocer keeps smoked Swiss with their cheeses. Yeah, and that that's once again Swiss is going to be you know 
a different texture than a gouda and that's gonna be a different texture than a string cheese but it's all gonna taste just like smoke so just go for it that's my cheese really of the week like is to, smoked i would like to get the cracker barrel like snacks cheese so good yes well any anything like that anything oh it's, it's yeah smoke it but that's like that's just one of those flavors it's like to me i i i I say, oh, gross, ketchup. I, I like ketchup if I'm in the mood to have ketchup. But if ketchup is on anything, that's all I taste is the ketchup. So I don't eat ketchup. On, you what, know, if, what about smoked ketchup? I, it'll taste like that. that huh. But what, just, I mean, is that, is that my brain or what? <laughs> you just broke my brain, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do with that. Now I got to go get myself some smoked ketchup to see if all I taste is smoked or if all I taste is ketchup. Right. I mean, that's which like, one is going to defeat the other? That's like immovable object and unstoppable or, force thing. Do you like discover a hole in reality when you eat it? You know? Yeah. I, I, Maybe the third option. That know? might cause, yeah, that's, you, you just caused me drain bramage. It's not. <laughs> Good. I'm <laughs> smelling burnt toast. Oh, God. Roll okay. credits. Any other business, gentlemen? Yeah, random Ooh, question. So. The t- mm-hmm. two shipping method options are DHL or something called 4PX. What is 4PX? I don't know. I, I don't know. Like <laughs> I chose DHL cheaper. because I've seen their trucks. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what 4PX is, and it's so much cheaper. I have a feeling they're just going to hand the box to a guy named Steve and say, get this to Jerry. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I, I want the thing to get to me from China, um, and a, a few few more dollars at that point. I was like, whatever. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I, I'm with you, man. I'm, I'm going to pay an extra $18 shipping just because I don't trust something called 4PX. Yeah, I don't know if it's... If it's something that is not I suppose I traditionally could in this country, how would they, how would that, how would it know. work if it doesn't exist in this country? I just I don't know, know how I've never heard of it. Cause DHL is, is, um, not super common to, in my experience either. Like it's yeah, the, they're, they're a known the less international popular. traveler though. They yeah. Yeah. But it's a like, major like, hub, like across town from you. Okay, that that's fine. I'm just saying, like FedEx and UPS are the big ones. DHL is a third, you know, a, a distant third player. If, if that's my perception, yeah, I don't, I don't actually track this. I know they actually, you know what? There's some people in our Discord. I could ask about this who are in this industry, but anyway. yeah, and they'll probably tell us it's like never. They're going to tell me all about bastards. It yeah, we're going to be. Yeah, in yeah, fact, oh, I, God, I won't be yeah. surprised. This episode's going to come out and they're going to be like, oh my God, let me tell you all about what was it called again? 4PX. I just looked it up. 4PX. It's also called e order is a customized oh, global warehouse like fulfillment that. service, which gives you the <laughs> flexibility to stock your products in China or overseas and deliver by local courier. Uh, so, so it's, it's like a drop products. ship for international products? Maybe, but why is so, it so Oh, maybe you got deeper? it right. Hey, maybe they're, are they hiring, are they basically just hiring individuals to courier things? Well, no, they would hire like FedEx and UPS to do like, you're in Ohio stuff for you. Okay. And they get like cheaper the... than DHL then. I'm so, I'm puzzled. I'm going DHL. I ordered one of those. You sold one track, so you get not. You, get <laughs> you didn't even watch all these? the YouTube videos it took to so- sell me on it. <laughs> Well, you sold it to me. You got you sold it. I'm sure you're getting a cut. It's, it's all good. Fun. It's fun. <laughs> yeah, it's super cool. Oh, I'll pay with PayPal. Yeah. Pay. Thank you. Right. Um, okay. Well, is that is that is that all, guys? Anything else you want to announce to the world? Um, um, I got nothing. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, everybody, please vote for the issue tracker. The links in the show notes. Please. Review the podcast on your podcast app and get more people to listen to us. And then they can vote on the issue tracker. Yes. Vote issue tracker for Senate. Issue tracker 20, for 20, 20, 30, 30, 33, 33, is that what it is? 3309? All right. Not yes. Yet, but that's when we'll be running, right? Issue tracker for Congress. Congress. Issue tracker Congress. for Congress. Oh, God, I'm changing my the brain. show title. Smoked ketchup. You broke my brain. <laughs> Issue. 
Tracker for progress. Krong. I got a Krong. Gress. I had to put a hyphen in it to make sure people pronounce it right. Issue tracker for Krongress, 3309. And I wasn't even <laughs> drinking. Jesus. <laughs> um, you can find our merch store at loosescrews.com for t-shirts, mugs, hoodies, and more. Um, thanks, everybody, for listening. Uh, thanks, uh, Chig, Dubs, Hate, Teflon, for joining me on this glorious episode of the Loose Screws podcast. Please fly loose and screwy. Bye. Well, usually everybody else says bye. I was waiting. Oh, bye. 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 <laughs> <Peter's in. laughs>